Bethany from Southern Couture, and I'm excited because I am working through Word Nerd, the Illustrated Fit devotional kit that focuses on word study for this month, and I was sharing one of my words on Instagram that I just worked through, and so many of you were like, yes, please let us see ideas. We've never done this before, or I'm just jumping into it, and I wanna know kinda how you're working through it and um, just some ideas for processing that type of word study. For some people, it's brand new and it can be overwhelming. And so this is just my ideas for ways that I'm working through each word and having them documented in different places. So please don't feel like you need to do any of this at all. You certainly do not. It is certainly just to give you ideas if you wanna do one, two, three, all ideas, whatever you want to do. Um, it's great. Just get into the Word and do the little Word studies. So um, that's what I'm going to be sharing today, and I hope you will enjoy. So you'll see I've got all sorts of stuff spread out here, um, and I'll go through each one. But kind of what I would think would be most helpful is to give you an idea of my process. When I first start down, what's the first thing I do? So I'm going to start there. So let me move a few of these things out of the way, and we'll go from there. So here is your little Word Nerd Traveler's Notebook that you get with the kit. Um, if you haven't got your kit yet from Illustrated Fate, there's a link down below in the description where you can. I also um, know that they have the digital version. If you would rather um, just have the, like, the Traveler's Notebook and some other matching pieces, and print it out yourself, then you can certainly do that too. Um, and if you missed anything about the kit, check down below in the description because I have links with an unboxing video and also a video showing you supplies I pulled, how I was going to have everything organized. Um, and so this one's different. It's going to be more about my process and tips and tricks. So I'm going to go ahead and just get started and I'll show you um, what I do when I first get started. So if you have First of all, a word. You need to pick a word or a scripture, really. Pick a scripture that um, you want to dive into deeper and then find a word in that scripture. So it could be from you know a verse that you have just loved all your life, a verse that's special to you from a certain season in your life. It could be from a recent sermon, from your notes, um, or they had these little flashcards that came with the kit that you could use. And um, so that's what I have been doing so far is pulling these. And um, the first word that I pulled was dwell, which came um, in the flashcards, and so when you get dwell, well, let me show you this actually, because I let me explain. I first started with dwell, and I did it, but then I noticed something that I was like, I need to change that for when I do the next one, and so I did. And I'm going to show you what that what I'm talking about. So dwell was my first word, and ask was my second word. So in my little traveler's um, notebook cover here, I keep the word nerd. I keep the little stickers that go in there. And then I have um, some other extra traveler's notebooks. So this one, which I'm in love with these colors and it also matches very well. Um, what I decided to do is I'm going to put something, this was from Confetti when we did that earlier this year, but I'm going to put something here that just titles that this is the start of word nerd. And I may just keep this as my word study traveler's notebook as well so what I found is that when I went through and I'll go ahead and show you my first one that was dwell when I was going through here I want it to be pretty of course we all want this nice little book when we open it and it's pretty and we've got stamps and we've got stickers and we have washi but I found that all of that was getting in my way of just digging into the word digging into the study and that was really frustrating to me because I was getting lost. I was having to go scroll back through um, the concordance and I was just frustrated. So what I decided would be so much easier, I can study the scripture, get it all out on paper like I want to, and then go back in here and add it, make it pretty, not worry about making mistakes. And that's what I've, I'm doing now. So for dwell, I have not done it yet, but I'm gonna go back and fill in dwell um, over here. And then I'll show you what I did for ask. So here was the second page, our second word. And what I did was 
I did not make this be something very fancy or difficult. I don't want this to be something that has to be all pretty like this, obviously. And I didn't go through and write like date, concordance, reference, word. I didn't do that. What I did instead was I just went down just making a list, almost like I'm just filling this in directly. There's no rhyme or reason. So I did that, you know, just went right down the list. I even put like my little definition here. I put, um, you know, wrote out the scripture. I did the pronunciations. I did all of these things, the notes kinda, as I went through, I had things that come to mind and I would write those down, write some more notes here, scriptures that I would reference and kinda just almost like had a layout of what I wanted in here. It's just here. So I don't have to worry about um, if, I'm not gonna have it just right, and I've gotta keep switching out, trying to find an H, because I didn't have that H sticker in this um, alphabet sticker. You see what I mean? And that gets, um, to me, in the way of what the whole point of this study is really about. So, by all means, if you do not care about this, having this, you know, stamps and alpha stickers and all that, just go right through here and write it in, and don't worry about it. And that would skip this step for you. But if you do want to have some fun with some, some plies and stamps, then I kind of suggest that you would do this part because it just makes the study flow more easily. I feel like you're not getting lost in these crazy details when you really want to just get into the word, okay? So that's what I did. And then I just went back with a little typewriter stamp that I have um, from Illustrated Faith, and then I wrote a uh, type, no, stamped. <laughs> I stamped out the word, and then I stamped out the Greek word as well for ask and I love that and then I might put like some little washi from um the kit washi that was that little um grid color or the grid and the peachy color I may go back and add that just you know for a little color up at the top but otherwise I want it simple so I'm going to go back and do dwell so once I have all of that written in here I go over here and I put it in to um this notebook and that way I can pull out whatever stamps I want and you can kind of see um you know what I have done here. Um, I've used different stamps and stickers and washi. I've used stickers that came from the Word Nerd Kit that Illustrated Faith did several years ago because a lot of the colors still match. I used Elaine's touch, um, stitched texture stamp. I used the Journal Crush stamp to put the little lines inside the note box. I used this um, Books of the Bible stamp that I got on Clarence at Hobby Lobby. All these things I'm mentioning, head over to that other video where I pull by supplies and show you and you'll know exactly um, what I'm talking about. So, one thing I wanna say too is if you have no clue where to get started with finding the concordance reference and you don't know the Greek and the pronunciation and the root word, I was watching Illustrated Fates Instagram stories and she, Shauna was over there explaining a reference that she likes to use and that would be Blue Letter Bible. So you can go on their website. What's great is they also have an app so you can put it on your phone. So if you're out at a coffee shop or just a random place or you journal over the house like I do, um, then you would have it on your phone accessible real easy. Um, and that's what I've been using. It, it is kind of tricky now on how to um, use it if you've never used it before. And there's so many details and so much that it can be like, I don't even know where to start. Cause let me just be honest, it's not really user friendly because a concordance has so much information, okay? It's, it's user friendly once you understand it and you'll be fine. It's just, you know, kind of getting the basics down. And Shauna mentioned a really good resource and I'm going to link that video down below. There's a video that will show you and explain and it actually goes through and shows pulling up a scripture and doing a word study um, so you'll have it. She has all those stories saved in her highlights on Instagram, but I'm going to link um, Blue Letter Bible and the YouTube video that will show you more about um, how to do a study with that um, concordance online in case you know you are completely brand new and I hope those resources will help you so now let's go ahead and jump again I've got my notes I've got them put over into my traveler's notebook now I want to move to my journaling Bible so I'm going to move this part out of the way and I went back to my original first love journaling Bible this is one my husband had given me, um, the very first journaling Bible I ever had, and I used it. I used another one. I used the illustrating Bibles, and they get, this one just, you know, like, it doesn't look full, right? It was like plenty of empty pages still in it, so I went back to it, and I want to use it again. Um, 
And so I thought it would be fun um, to do that with this bird study. So I'm gonna go back over to Joel and just show you the entry that I did with it. And um, my scripture is Colossians 3.16, but I did, even though there's a lot of empty pages, I did have a journaling already done on that page. So I went over to just one of my cross-reference verses, which was 2 Corinthians, and that's where I ended up journaling. Um, so, I want to show you that if you want to just do the Traveler's Notebook, great. If you want to go a step further, or just do the Traveler's Notebook, great. If you want to go a step further and do your journaling Bible, then um, I just wanted to give you kind of an example, an idea of what I did. I went through, and you'll see in that supply video if you haven't already, I have my little box, which I'll show you real quick, which is right here. It's full of supplies. It's full of stickers, printables, and everything is in here in one place. It makes it really easy. I go through and I just start pulling things that I want to use that look like they would be fun. I sometimes will try to match like the colors with the notebook over here, which is what I did with the peachy pink and the um, golden color. And then I just started pulling things, layering them on the page. I really loved having that Greek word up there with the concordance reference number. Love using the stamps that came with the kit to mark that book of the Bible that and chapter and verse. And just used printables, used Elaine's big... Um, date stamp that she has it's the um let me show you real quick it's like on a stamp set not like a date stamp and i love it because it looks like the mega date stamp but it's compact so i can take it wherever i want um so that's what i did for my uh, journaling entry i used one of my grid blocks that's in my etsy shop that goes along with the kit and then this little pencil label is also a new design in my etsy shop from the bible bookworms collection that i just designed for word nerd and i love it because i cut out the pencil um, and then I had these little words that will give you prompts if you're kind of don't know where to start. And I had that word dwell on there and that's where I went with it. So there's other words that you'll find and I'll just show you. I've kind of cut them up as I've used them, but you get lots of words to kind of help you get at a starting place if you would like. Words that aren't um, on those flashcards in the kit necessarily either. So um, I love that. And then once I have my entry done, uh, you know, put a little prayer or a note there. I have my entry done. Here's where you would be great. You've done your word study. If that's all you want to do, perfect. But I know I always like to go overboard, I guess. And we're all obsessed with memory decks, right? So I want to show you what I did for um, my memory decks. So this is a wooden memory decks box. So I'm going to just give a little shout out to this Etsy shop. The Etsy shop is Precious Memory Boxes. I'm going to leave a link to them down below in the description head over and grab yours. If you've had a hard time finding the Heidi Swap one, some people can't find them at Joann's or they've been clearanced out. I love that she has done this. So um, at Precious Memory Boxes, these are homemade, like handcrafted wood boxes. You can get this color wood. There's a darker wood and a white one. And I think they're gonna be coming out with some more customization options, but they just um, put uh, open their shop again with a new listing earlier this week because they had to close it because they had such a big response and had to get a lot more made. But it also has um, this little tag holder where you could label if there was something you wanted to put there, which I'm thinking about what I want in that. And I haven't done that yet, but I used the Heidi Swap one for the one another's card set study that we did and put my memory decks cards in it. So I'm going to use this one for now for my word studies. And you know, I may add extras, but I like it for this. And so here's my first card that I did. And you'll get a little sneak peek at my other word <laughs> that I did, which I'm in love with that stamp that comes with the kit. I'll be using it all the time because that little girl is precious. And it would be fun to go back and kind of color in like her hair in the book and our Bible and all. But anyways, here's the first card I did. So on this one, I put the flashcard for Joelle actually on here, which is what I wanted to do all along, but I didn't want to cover up that little girl. And so I ended up putting it on um, in my Bible entry that I did. So for this one, it is on here. I attached it just with some washi. I put a little tab up here so it kind of, you know, has a place to stick up off of the, um, the memory decks box. Um, and this tag, um, not tag, tab, came from that original Word in our kit from Illustrated Faith, you know, years ago that I just had some extras from. And then when you open it up, I used a printable that came from um, the Illustrated Faith Print and Pray Shop that goes along with the kit. I used the Word Nerd washi that came with that original kit, which is this one right here. I had plenty of it left over. 
And then I put some spotty dot, cause y'all know I can't do anything without my black and white spotty dot. And then I just went through and wrote like the original scripture that I studied the word um, dwell from, put, you know, the heat or Greek word for it, and just some other little notes, um, like a synonym for it, abide, and then wrote out that scripture. And so that's what I did on this. It's really simple. Like I said, I put a few printables, you know, a printable, uh, stickers, washi, wrote it out and then put the card on it and that's all I had to do. So if you're thinking like, oh, I wanna do this with you know a Bible, but I wanna do the member decks too, don't feel like this has to be super fancy. You could so do both. This took literally like five minutes. If you kind of get an idea of what you want to do and have that in mind each time, then it won't take you long at all. I always say stick to a pattern when doing projects like this, right? Y'all are probably tired of hearing me say that, but it makes it easier so you're not worried about coming up with some new grand idea every day if you don't have time. So, you know, other projects, that's great, but when you're doing something like this, I say just kind of keep it simple. Now, I'll give you a little peek of the next one. On this card, I used alpha stickers and I put the word, the Greek word, which got cut off with um, my punch. <laughs> and um, then I just wrote out the scripture, which was from James 1, 5, put the concordance number there and then stamped it. I had this little hashtag washi. I got it at a conference a blog conference several years ago. So I don't know where you could even get that. And then this pencil die cut is from that old Word Nerd kit. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Hopefully I'll put the flashcards on each of the ones in here from now on. But if you don't have a memory deck, so go check out Precious Memory Boxes over on Etsy. You're gonna love it. Super affordable. Like I can't believe the price considering how nice these are with the label tag there, um, holder and the wood on the inside, those little notches to hold it. It works perfect. Um, let me mention too, the way I punched that card, I have the Heidi Swap Memory Dex Punch. This, I had someone asking me how I um, got mine punched on Instagram and I wanna just mention that. So I used to just trace from a template of a card and then cut it out myself which takes way too much time and it's aggravating so i um for this one i was able now that i have the punch did you just slide it in there it's so easy and they got rid of these and brought them back and i got mine from by the well for god etsy shop i will link them down below i'm sure y'all know um and have been to their shop before but just in case and then i also wanted to mention um i had a question about the cards that i used and these are grid cards that are in my etsy shop that go along with um the kit and it's the bible bookworm journaling cards and so those are really easy and fun to use the size makes them absolutely perfect because they go right into the box so easily with even extra space on the side so it's not bumping they're the um size of like a project life card almost okay all right guys so that's it i hope i have not talked too much or too fast i just wanted to get all this information out there to you to hopefully help you and give you some ideas as you work through it i hope you're following me on instagram i'm going to be sharing each word as i go and sharing my page in my bible and in my traveler's notebook as well as my memory decks card so you can see some ideas and ways to work through it and not worry that you're not um you know having to be so technical and everything looks so perfect because um, it doesn't. It can be simple but fun and the whole point is to just get in there and study those words, right? Um, so there you have it. If you have any questions, please, please, please do not hesitate to ask down below and um, I'll be back again very soon. Make sure you're subscribed. Click that little bell icon so you know when the next video is coming out and I'll see y'all again shortly. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.